At the time when we needed it most, millions of Texans did not have power. Now, we can all agree, folks, last week is not something that we want to go through again, right? So what needs to happen now to make sure that there is not a repeat? Investigative reporter Brian New went searching for those answers and joins us now with a look at what all he found. Yes, this was a historic winter event, but it also isn't the first time that the Texas grid has failed in the face of extreme cold conditions. Which is why we reached out to some of the top electrical and energy experts from Texas A&M University to see what can be done so this never happens again. Their first recommendation is to winterize natural gas pipelines, outdoor power plants and wind turbines by installing de-icing technology that is used in other parts of the country. In most cases, these experts say this can be done in time for next winter. Making sure that things operate during the winter, these are low hanging fruits, you know, so there are ways to do this very efficiently, very fast. It's a no-brainer. It must be done. But these experts say that winterizing the infrastructure is really just the first step and that more needs to be done. And tonight at 10, we'll give you their other three recommendations, including one that during the next power crisis could automatically keep your lights on while your washing machine off. With the I-Team, Brian New, CBS 11 News. Well, the family of a little boy who died during the outages is suing ERCOT now, and the power company entered G for $100 million. 11 year old Christian Pavon was found dead Tuesday in his Conroe home after the family had gone without power for several days. The lawsuit says he died of hypothermia, but the medical examiner has yet to issue an official cause of death. ERCOT released a statement saying it had not reviewed the lawsuit yet, but said, quote, our thoughts are with all Texans who have and are suffering, and added that because of situations Texas was in, quote, we are confident that our grid operators made the right choice to avoid a statewide blackout.